Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 1380, the starting a new decade, obviously. Before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this would be great help, and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. <laughs> this year is actually not very busy. Um, there's not many birthdays happening, it's kind of like a void. And you can see it has like a darker red color, it's because something is happening. And what is happening is the 1380 poll tax. In 1380, a poll tax of 12 pence per adult was imposed, the third poll tax in four years. It brought to a head the economic discontent that had been growing since the middle of the century. Only your main household must pay one time fee of 5000 simoleons. And as a kind reminder, my family has 1 million. 100 simoleons that they got through just selling stuff for past 321 day in game <laughs> and they never had a job and nobody ever moved in with money <laughs> so i would say <laughs> that we'll just skip this poll tax it doesn't make any sense to do that so anyways since not not much is happening and the first child is supposed to be born on day three right here uh, we will start rolling for everyone here today and then if Ariel is pregnant and we will make sure that she's pregnant She will give birth also on the last day So anyways, let's start rolling and first we roll for Norman in our main household who is becoming an infant So it's everything but 12 16 and 18. I really need him to leave and the first one counts Okay 11 so he leaves and I'm very pleased with that information then we have Eleanor, the mother of the alien child, because she is an alien. And she's becoming a young adult, so it's everything but 2, 6, 11, 13, and 14. 10. So Eleanor actually leaves, and I'm quite surprised by that. Alright, then we have Matilda, the older sister of our current heir, Gregory. She is becoming an adult, so she needs to roll 9 and up in order to survive. And she leaves, okay, she lives 10 years plus 19 years. Okay, Matilda, so <laughs> she will die in 1399 on day one. This is so sad. Currently, she is the latest death I know of in the challenge. Okay, Matilda, good for you, though. Uh, and then on the second day, we have a wedding of John. I did make some sims in earlier streams, but they were all men. And later I realized that the next three sims that are getting married are John, Philip, and Roger, and then eventually Gerard. So why did I make guys if I have, <laughs> if I need girls? So I made three girls randomly before this stream. Two of them are English and one of them is French. So we will get to this later and we'll choose which one John will marry um, because one of them I made for a land grab and I don't know if Roger is a land grab. Anyways, let's roll for Leonard, the father of the half alien baby. He needs to roll everything but two, six, 11, 13 and 14 as well. 14, so he, Leonard unfortunately died. Okay, so we need to somehow highlight the death of Leonard here. He is now deceased and he dies in 1380 at the age of 20. And we can say that he uh, died from injury, I would say. Like he was fighting of some sorts. It just makes sense to me <laughs> in this way. It means that we will have just Eleanor and the alien child on the thumbnail for the moment because the alien child still has potential to become the heir or to eventually give life to a future heir, you know, since he is Greenwood. Okay, so this is all done and I, I suggest we just go into the game and we start maybe from Eleanor and Leonard situation. No, because then Gregory will be sad. So let's start by making Ariel pregnant. So maybe she can start by aging up um, little Norman since he is aging up. So he can become an infant a bit early and we can be happy about that. Oh, he's ginger as well. 
But surprisingly, I also noted that last time, his skin shade is very different from anything. So I don't know how come, and I don't know if he's potentially a mermaid infant, and I don't know if we will ever find out until he actually ages up, and I don't know if it's even a possibility. So let's click on him, Norman Greenwood. <gasps> he is a mermaid! He doesn't have a form, but the game acknowledges him as a mermaid. I'm shocked! That's the best news ever! Okay, so... Oh my god, I don't even know where to start with excitement. Oh my god, that's my first mermaid infant. Like, I don't even know what to think about that. Like, I wish I could give him like a special outfit to celebrate this somehow. And I like his eye color, it's very different. Okay, Norman. Merman child. I can't wait to see how this plays out. Does it mean that he will not eat fish and stuff as well? Wow. I mean, this is pretty cool. The first two children were normal children, and this one is a mermaid child. And I just am extremely curious about that. So, wait, where is he? I need to see his... He has hygiene like a normal child, so nothing special really there. Now you go and take pregnancy test. Oh, she's pregnant. Okay, so at 10.30 we will have Ariel giving birth. Day 2. Okay, it's 7 a.m. I suggest we will exit this quickly and marry John, I believe, to one of the girls that I made earlier. So John is the eldest son of Johnny Zest. So it was Johnny and Gemma's child because Johnny Zest was married three times. So we have Magdalene Smith and Margaret Smith because, you know, they're gonna change their surnames anyway. It's just easier for me to understand that they are two British girls. And we have Amelia French because she's gonna become the French one. Now, I need portraits though because one of them has the hairpiece and I read about the veil online a lot. And apparently it was a thing to do. Oh, come on game, I'm not asking for much. It's three portraits of three sims. Shall I literally go random here? Like, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I think so. So, <laughs> we're doing that. Oh, but where did he go? Maybe he's not in world? Okay. So it will be one of the Smith girls. And I think I started with Mag... Oh! The portraits appeared. So it's going to be Margaret that marries him. Okay. Here we are. We got it. Now let's move them in. We're gonna put three real estate on and he has eight pregnancies so this is very important furnished okay john here you are let's make you a young adult he's hot-headed and lazy In a oh. but also he is a good boy like i want to give them different or difficult characters in a way and here is John we're gonna give him a different kind of mustache okay here is John okay and Margaret is a Landgraf now okay and John is your husband Margaret and John. I love their couple and I love that they have eight pregnancy chances. It gives me chances for Landgrabs to not die off. Really, really happy that the first two sons of Johnny and get good pregnancy roles. Let's be very honest with ourselves. Go take pregnancy test, please. Okay, she's pregnant at 8.50 and I'm very excited for that. Leonard, I'm very sorry. You're gonna be slain by vicious rabbit. Here we are. Okay, she's very sad. And she basically shines her emotion and I absolutely love it in Alien Sims. Like, can she do? Oh, we can plead for Leonard. Shall we do it? Not too little too late. It's fine. Um, 
it's life, we get to move on, we have too many sims, I need to stop trying to plead and do whatever with the sims. So he was born in 1360, which is very weird because it means that as I'm streaming this, the year when he was born is not even on my channel, on my YouTube channel yet. So it's a weird feeling for me. Okay, put it in inventory. And let's go and bring it over to the graveyard. Now, let's quickly go here. We have Matilda aging up into a doubt. Matilda wrote to never get married, kind reminder, and kind reminder that she is in my gallery. So you can, Zucchini this is her. Point. So yes, you can download her from the gallery and she can be, become part of your family. Now, I will give her a little bit uh, different outfit now. And she's not elder or anything like this, but considering they dying when they are adults, I decided to make them look a little bit older with gray hair and so on and so forth. Day three. And let's go to Britney. Because it's very important. <laughs> I'm so happy that I married her to Langrops because she has been delivering. And she has five pregnancy chances. So she still has three left. Because she only used five. Maybe she had more originally, but that's what's left there. Okay, Brittany, are you ready? Try for baby with Malcolm. Or she also sang about the skill day to him. I'm sure he was like beautiful. Oh, she never lets me down. Okay, so in at 9 a.m. she's giving birth. Right, I restarted the game and I decided to so so plug my own gallery here where I upload all my unmarried sims that you can add to your challenge in case you do that and uh, you can also download the townies um, from packs and from base game like God and Caliente and Villarreal from um, get together so but in their medieval form per se I am super excited because I tried so hard with the Spanish. Remember we had, I don't even remember what the surname was, but it was somebody from my, I think her name was Gota. She was the only Spanish child I ended up having and it didn't work out anyway. Okay, go have a baby, Lucia. Okay, Lucia's having a baby. It's a girl, okay, that's not what we wanted, but it's okay. So next Spanish girl name I have, oh my goodness, is Uraka. Uraka. I never heard this name. Uraka Ramos. Oh, and it's just one baby. All right. So first let's roll for Lucia. It must be everything but one. Five. So she leaves, therefore she tries tomorrow. So Lucia tries. Now let's roll for Uraka. <laughs> It's everything but 1, 5, 7, 10, 15, and 20. 10. So, Raka dies. Very sad, we had her for about a second. But I didn't like the name, <laughs> so I'm super okay with this. So, deceased in 1380 as well. Baby, and we can put that she was stillborn. Oh, she has an interesting face. Kind of upset that she's dead though. Okay, well, they will try again tomorrow. For now, they have no idea that they lost the child anyway. Day four. Okay, guys, try. No, just try for baby with Jose. Okay, she's pregnant. So, Lucia, 8 a.m. And we'll just wait for Ariel to give birth and then we will roll for the rest of seems which is just one which is Giacomo Rocca and he's kind of the start of this set of children that were born all one by one basically from starting Giacomo in this video moving into next video until 1383 we will be rolling for somebody aging up into a child pretty much every single day except for one day which is the first day of the next video scatter feed nearby and scatter feed nearby okay where's Ariel here. She's giving birth and she really has to go to the toilet. In the meantime, I'm opening baby names. 
Oh, if it's a boy, it's going to be Theobald. It is a boy, and we had the Theobald before, and it was Goth, I think. Theobald Greenwood. And it's just one baby. Okay. We are happy even just for one baby. It's very cute. So, first we have to roll for Ariel. It's everything but one. 18, so she leaves. Now Theobald. He rolls 5, so he dies, obviously. Therefore, Ariel has to try again tomorrow. It's just like constant struggle. Deceased in 1380. This is her third stillborn child, unfortunately. And there's nothing we can do about that. So, since we are here, we can also roll for Giacomo, who is becoming a child. So it's everything but 9 and 19. 2. So, Giacomo leaves. Uh, therefore, he will be becoming a teenager. So, in 1387 on the last day. So, 87 on the last day. So, we can also go ahead and age up Giacomo. But first, we need to get rid of Theobald. Oh! He literally looks like he's dead, but blonde. And this is him as a mermaid. He has full face of freckles. And he looks like his mom? That is so weird. Why his nose and everything has changed? Why are they different? So this is the face of his dad. And this is the face... I don't know of who. Copy him to mermaid form. Okay, now he is like his dad, basically, but it's another. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll have to learn this about the other baby we have. But Theobald, it's a goodbye. Very weird genetics, I must. I just have to add it. But they're super unlucky. Come on, Ariel, this is, was her fourth child and her third stillborn baby. Luckily, we have so many carrots that we can always sort of help ourselves with that. And now game goes crazy again. Because game is just like shocked that we just deleted a scene, you know, like it's shocking. So Giacomo is becoming a child. I'm very curious about his head. Oh, it's becoming smaller and smaller as he ages up. So he is animal enthusiast, which is totally fine for me. But we have to change the look and I need to check if his brother had any face details. No, nothing. Therefore, also Giacomo will not have any. Me, but I'm very confused by his huge ginormous cheeks like it's weird like what happened like I took two pictures of him hopefully he has his eyes open on both so we can keep that okay well and they keep on saying that there is some name but there is li literally nothing if you know what kind of name in Rocca family can be wrong please let me know I beg you, I have no idea. And it's already the next day, so I don't want to spoil it too much. I want to start quite early because Margaret will be giving birth the new... Who is Margaret? Margaret is the new wife of John. So it's Gen 6 children being born and mixed in with Gen 5 children being born currently. But also we are supposed to kill off one of the rebel families one of the side household will be killed off and their children if there are any will become orphans i am pretty sure that i will use a randomizer wheel but i'm also quite scared to lose an important family so i don't really want to do it so we'll see <laughs> and this will be it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to click like subscribe and follow me on twitch as well not only on youtube and i hope to see you on the next one Bye-bye.